we have got two of the most overpowered items on the entire server and we're gonna go ahead and see which one makes us more money so in my inventory i currently have a celestial hoe as well as a celestial axe this came from the last seasonal crates and now this item right here the celestial hoe has stellar strike 10 which is an item worth 500 dollars and the axe only celestial blessings for it's not that bad but it's not worth near as much both are completely maxed out with enchants we're gonna be getting rich in today's episode now if you guys do want to go ahead and hop on the server i'm currently playing on heroic.mc-complex.com hop on using ip it directly supports me and also while you're at it subscribe to the channel because like 70 percent of you guys are not even subscribed yet so like come on help me out but now guys we have got some money to be made now a lot of drama actually happened off camera they merged like three factions we ended up buying other factions value they bought a bunch of crate keys a ton of stuff went down i was not online for it but now our faction got some like serious beef anyways i think i'm gonna go ahead and set a timer for 50 minutes here we've got an absolutely massive netherworld farm not to mention we also do have greenhouse 5 on our helmet so that actually makes it so the nether work grows back a lot quicker and i don't have the end shade that automatically replants it but now i'm gonna go ahead and get to grinding and making some money as you can see in my balance we're automatically making money the money is going directly into my balance if we check out the enchants, we've got Greedy Greens 20. So go ahead and check that out. In here, Greedy Greens 20 automatically sells all crops harvested for 80% increased value. On top of that, we've got Herbless 5 has a 50% chance to double the amount of crops harvested. This is like the god hoe, the best hoe on the entire server. But now let's start making some money. The 30 minutes is up. If we go ahead and take a look at my balance, $4.5 million. I'm going to round up to five. Because if we take a look at the scoreboard, $1.8 thousand ms bro like i am lagging like crazy let's go ahead and see if we can actually get a lag real quick hold on and of course as soon as i finish my timer i'm barely lagging anymore that's crazy bro i literally had it where it was mining the row two rows beneath me as i was going back and forth on my way up like that's how laggy i was bro I, at one point i literally lagged outside of her base into our regen walls with my hoe on me i am not even kidding we're gonna round up to five million dollars but now here's the deal okay with our axe if we go ahead and check the F list, Brimson has eight online, Powerpuff Boys also have seven online as well, Napalm have six online, and that's like the three factions that have kind of like emerged against us, and I can guarantee they're definitely in the dark zone, okay? I think my strategy is gonna be whenever I see an enemy, I'm literally just gonna log out and like wait a half an hour before I even log back in. Like I'm gonna play a long game, and I swear if they camp where I log out for that long, they deserve the one seasonal i have it's not even that good so let me go ahead and grab the remainder pots that i need in the top end of the dark zone okay i think i found literally the perfect time to go ahead and head into the dark zone i was just over there and there's like 10 people in there but nobody in a power faction if we look at the f list powerpuff boys eight online vendetta eight online as well and i can guarantee with our seasonal axe if anybody spots us we're gonna get targeted okay i'm already expecting i'm gonna die but on the bright side i've got another one in my pv so let's head on over to the spawn now i'm just hoping there is nobody there camping the portals oh my god and powerpuff boys literally here camping watch get a life boys do the old strategy sit here look if k scouted out for a couple seconds oh that's my faction he's going in there okay i'll go with him all right let's grind dark zone for like 30 minutes let's get a timer going and start making some money oh my god bro yeah speaking of power it's maddie oh, bro no. dip, 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 uh, dip. should i just log should i just log bro yeah yeah log log damon do you need help bro oh my god bro oh, they're no, all here no, no. damon do you need help apple, I got apple, wait do you need I help apple, bro okay. i have a celestial axe if i oh, if i get no. someone oh, walking no. oh, no. oh, bring it pop oh, bring it pop no. he's getting oh, them away from you he's getting them away from you bro all i have is a celestial axe on me Bro, what just oh, happened? Shit, dude. Are you good? Huh? Yeah. Uh, Dizzy's with him. Did, did you log? No, I'm still here, bro. Like they're not chasing me. They didn't go after me, bro. I'm just in. All I've got good I mean, on try, me is. Try and, get, try and get out at least. Okay. Well. Cause that's that's not a fair fight. They have numbers. I don't know what a portal is. I'm just climbing the mountains, bro. Oh, they're fucking yeah, yeah, me yeah. up. <laughs> Damien, you're getting paused. Dude, what are you in? Are you anything good? Yes. No, no not really. Just the celestial leggings. Yeah. yeah, but they're just level two or something. I mean, Dizzy's trying to help you though. All right. Well, I'm out. <laughs> Sorry, boys. All right, good. Uh, you're <laughs> good. You're good. Uh, oh no! There's a hacker at spawn, bro. What is? Okay, dude. 
Yeah, diamond armor kick. Yeah, bro, only I can do this video. Like, come on now. All right, well, we managed to actually somehow run them out of Dark Zone. I'm not exactly sure. Did we lock people on? No, they literally still have more members than us. I have no idea what's going on. But we have Dark Zone now. We're chilling. I'm gonna start the timer for the 30 minutes once again and see if I can go ahead and start grinding. All right, boys, a dark zone of boss just spawned in. I don't even know what good rewards you can get from this. I'm assuming something good. There's other people here as well from random factions. I'm still counting this on the timer. What we can actually get from the mobs and stuff like that, though, is you actually get a bunch of money pouches, you experience pouches, you get a bunch of enchants, you get spawners, and you literally get money directly to your balance as well. But apparently my faction is like fighting in the war zone right now. Like they entirely left me. Nobody besides me is in here. So that's not a good look. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, you literally get so much stuff from the boss. Like, the boss just popped and you literally get so many diamonds, money pouches, spawners, four iron golems from that? Holy. All right, W. Hold on, let me sell the diamonds. Please, nobody jump me, bro. There's at least so many enemies around right now. Sell all of that. Oh my god, boys, we just made bank. Okay, the boss is definitely worth it. All right, boys, our timer just went off. We literally just made it out of Dark Zone. We were being chased out of Dark Zone. We found a portal. We entered it. We're out of Dark Zone. And if we take a look, we've only got about $6 million, 22k experience. But in our inventory, we have got four skeletons, four iron golems, seven zombies, and one evoker spawner. But now let's do a little bit of math. Because theoretically speaking, eight iron golems an hour is not half bad, especially if you have a full 12-man faction grinding. Now let's see, iron golems are about 900. So now let's see, iron golems, the original price are about 1.275 million. So times that by four, that is already more money than you've even made from grinding nether wards, plus the evoker spawner. That right there, 2.4 million. And I'm pretty sure you actually should sell the zombie and skeleton. So let's sell those, sell the zombie and the skeleton as well. We made just a little bit of money, about 380k from that as well. But I will be completely honest, it is a massive toss up because as you guys saw, it is not friendly over there. Okay guys, so to go ahead and end off this video, I want to give you guys a tour of our base since it has been a fat minute and uh, it looks a little bit different, okay? So if we actually hop into Rome right now, you guys can see inside of here is actually a bunch of value boxes. If we go ahead and fly into it, we have evokers in here, all stacked to 50. Because 50 is actually the highest you can stack spawners on the server. Like, literally, in here, 150 evokers. We fly over here at a different Y level. Another, like, oh, that's actually, like, more evokers. A lot more evokers, actually. But if you fly over here, all the way up here, more evokers. Literally, every single one of these spots you see with lava is just basically a holding spot for evoker spawners. Because evokers are worth the most value. And then, obviously, higher up, we're going to go ahead and start getting some frame lag. But now we've got our Iron Golem spawner. This is our second one. This is our second grinder, obviously making us absolute millions every single day. Literally a massive collection down here. My FPS, my computer's actually getting exploded. Over here, we've got another grinder. This is actually our first Iron Golem grinder. I believe we have four in total. All the way over here, we've got our third one. And our fourth one is actually at our other base. And here we have our Creeper grinder where we grind TNT, experience, stuff like that. Obviously another absolutely massive collection system. Like we've got millions of TNT. TNT is not a worry. But now the outside of the base, it really has not changed at all the entire season. Just the three mine chats, one by ones. We got some pillars, a vertical regen filters, two sets of them, another set of one by ones, another set of mine chats, and then our sand check wall all the way at the end. And apparently not a single faction has even got over three chunks in on our base. Like apparently nobody has even touched our filters all season. Our filters are right here. Like they haven't even got this far, bro. That is sad, okay? And then we've still got our two buffer counters over here. Now if I actually check out, can I check out our other base? I'm pretty sure that's where our fourth iron golem grinder is. Let's see if we go ahead and roam. Okay, yeah, here we go. Here we have our fourth grinder. Oh my god, that is a lot more iron golems than the other one. Jesus Christ, bro. Look at all of the iron golems burning, bro. Oh my god. Okay. I need to check out our value. If I go ahead and go deeper into it, 14,000 iron golems, 9,000 evokers, 6,000 creepers. Good lord. In total, we've got 33,000 spawners placed. I actually want to go ahead and see if I get a TP over to Crimson's base. So I'm going to go ahead and roam theirs and see theirs as well. Now, do we have a warp there? No, we don't. Okay, let me get a TP on over okay we're outside of crimson's first base now i really haven't even been online to attempt them at all i think we went ahead and attempted them literally once in the cannon blue like right away when i was online let's see they've got an ocean they've got two sets of vertical regen filters three mine chats another two sets of vertical regen filters another set of vertical regen filters pillars and then here is the base and apparently like the and now like the entire thing all of this on the inside is actually lava up because we go ahead and check Literally, they have the exact same thing, a bunch of evoker spawners, all hidden in boxes. You have to split them multiple times. 
just to even dent their value at all. Now, I believe they have a grinder over here somewhere. Okay, it looks like this is one of their Iron Golem grinders right here. A huge collection at the bottom as well. Now, I'm not exactly sure what else they've got to this base. A bunch of rev layers. Is anything down below? No, literally nothing down below. Oh, a massive nether ward farm. Okay, cool. Looks like we fact. It looks like we found one of their creeper grinders and also a couple vaults for enchants, stuff like that. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Ravik is so sexy. Yeah, I beg to differ. They've got their auto brewers all the way over here in the corner. Now, how much value do they actually have? Okay, they only have 11,000 iron golems. We have a lot more iron golems, but they have 2,000 more evokers than us. Okay. That's why I was a bit confused. I couldn't find their other iron golem grinders. Let's go ahead and TP on over to their second base and check out their second one. I'm assuming it's like the exact same design. Let's see, here's one of their Iron Golem grinders. Super laggy over here as well. Another Iron Golem grinder. Okay, this must be like their Iron Golem base. And also a bunch of evokers in here as well. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda it. We've got like one week left into the season. At this point, it's actually looking like Crimson is about to pull out a win. But alrighty guys, that is gonna go ahead and do it for today's episode of Factions. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Hop on the server, heroic.mc complex.com the next season it's coming up very soon i'm super excited for it but i'll go ahead and catch you guys all in the very next episode of factions peace out